And here we are. Welcome everyone to a new Testament live stream. It has been a while. If you're new, uh, if you haven't joined us before, hello, welcome. It's really great to have you. My name is Paul Serstad. I am the creator and director of Testament and uh, lovely to have you. And if you are an, an old timer, if you've been with us uh, last year and, uh, and, and our subsequent or previous live streams, welcome back. Welcome home. Uh, so glad to have you. Um, I'm really excited to be back. It's been, I've been itching to get back to you guys and I'm so sorry it's been so long, but um, we thought we'd kick off uh, our new year of live streams and our new year of uh, coming back uh, with a watch party. So if you haven't uh, seen this before, or if you have actually, more importantly, if you have seen this before, go grab a friend. We're probably gonna begin the film in maybe 10 minutes. So grab a friend, email them, send them the link, and being like, hey, got a film that's about a play. Um, I enjoyed it, I hope you do too. Um, and if you're new, I hope you really enjoy. Um, but first, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what Testament is, why we made it, what the purpose of it, what, what the heart of Testament really is. Um, and uh, and we'll, we'll get straight to that. So, uh, today, 
we are watching Testament, The Parables Retold. Okay, and that was a film that we made. Uh, we made it back in, we filmed it back in 2021 um, for, for a minuscule budget, um, but we partnered with Angel Studios as, a distrib as our distribution partner. And um, you'll find a lot of things familiar in this. This is a, a bit of an unusual film. It actually started off as, um, as these short films that would retell parables um, of Jesus, but in modern settings. Uh, and then we tied in this larger narrative um, that actually is based upon uh, Acts chapter 21 and a little bit onwards from there. Um, so it, our lead character is, is Luke as he's in the capital. Paul's been arrested and been taken away. And Luke experiences uh, these parables being retold to him from Jesus's disciples. Uh, so it's, it's a different kind of film, but you'll, you'll find a lot of familiarity there. You'll, you'll recognize the parables. We have the parable of the sower, the good Samaritan, the hidden treasure, the rich fool, the talent. So you'll recognize these stories. You'll recognize the characters because you'll, you'll meet Luke, of course. Um, Mary Magdalene makes an appearance, James. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but you'll, you'll be able to see these characters as we've reimagined them in this alternate modern day. And that's what you're going to find new. Um, we've taken this story, this, this historical account, and we've put it in this uh, a different world, really. It's like, I, I, I like to say an alternate modern day because the world would be drastically different if Jesus didn't come 2,000 years ago, right? There would be huge ramifications. Um, and so we're calling it an alternate modern day because there are things that are still in place, the empire is still in place, um, the, the temple and, and all of these things. So uh, it's, a, it's a retelling, reimagining these characters in this an alternate modern day. So that's what you're going to find new. And, and our hope is what you're going to enjoy about it and what you're going to find exciting about it is a way to reconnect with these stories in a way that you might not have before. Uh, really, the, the reason why I made this in this modern way is to invite us to reconnect with the Bible, to invite us to reconnect with the story, to invite us to reconnect with the early church and actually go, how am I living out my faith compared to them? How, how am I following Jesus like they did? Um, so often like, I, I've been with people that, you know, that find the Bible hard to connect with or hard to, 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 to get through the language. And, and the story is there, the drama is there, the beauty is there. And, and really, um, this is just our way of just trying to go, hey, this is an exciting story. And I always like to say, hey, spoilers can be found right in the book of Acts. So go, go look for spoilers. Um, right. So what are we doing? Yes, of course. The big news is uh, the Testament started off as a movie. And as some of you may know, but some of you may not, we are now, uh, based on that same idea, we are now developing it into a multi-season TV series. So we're going to actually start, we're going to reset the clock. So the movie is based in Acts chapter 21, 22, 23, kind of in the backgrounds of there. Whereas the series, we're going to start all the way back in chapter two. We're going to start on the day of Pentecost, which I can't wait. We've got, I mean, scripts have been writing and it's, we're very excited. So on the day of Pentecost is when we're starting and we're going to follow the rest of the, the, the story of the book of Acts, the rest of the account of the book of Acts, um, which for me, it's just one of my favorite accounts. It's, you know, the, the, it's the account of the Holy Spirit. It's, the, it's the, the, the acts of the Holy Spirit. It's the acts of the apostles. It's the acts of, of Jesus' testament to the world um, and how the whole world gets turned upside down. It's, I, I'm so in love with the book of Acts. So I'm really excited to, to tell this story in this, in this multi-season, alternate modern day style. Um, and the, and the impact that we hope this series has, um, I mean, people have already been coming to us. I, I know you guys have as well, some of you, um, about watching the film and, and what that's done. Um, but really, the impact is to try and connect with uh, generations. Uh, and I don't mean just young generations, because <laughs> there's older generations, too, who have found this disconnect with the Bible. But we want to impact people with the, the, the story of the Bible and to, to go, hey, listen, 
it is good news. It is good news no matter what time period you, you, you pronounce the name of Jesus, when you pronounce the gospel of Jesus. Because it is good news today, it is good news 2,000 years ago, and it is good news tomorrow. Um, and that, that's what this series is going to, going to do. That's, that's our hearts. That's, that's the impact that we're praying that it has. And we are hoping to film this summer. This summer is when we uh, are planning, that's kind of what we're all spearheading towards, to go into production this summer, 2023, uh, to create the first season. We're planning eight episodes, 45 minutes per episode, um, and it's, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big undertaking. We've got to remember, if you're starting on the day of Pentecost, there's a, there's a big crowd right at the beginning. So um, it's a big undertaking, but we're going to keep our filmmaking style, our, our kind of... Our um, angel likes to call us the scrappy filmmakers, so we're going we're gonna to keep to that. Um, but we can't do it without you. Um, as you know, the, the way that these shows work and our show works with Angel Studios is we, um, we, uh, we work with the crowds. We work with you. So actually last year we, we opened up an investment round. Um, and uh, we had a number of investors come on board, which is amazing. And basically, we, we potentially, we may open another one. And if we do, uh, we'd love for you to be notified. We'd love for you to, to find out about that. So what you can do uh, right now is we're actually open in an expressing interest stage. So if you head over to angel.com slash testament, you can express your interest and that'll keep you up to date with what we're doing on how we're going and um, and if we do open an investment round when we're live, uh, which means that you'll know when you could uh, could invest if we do open up that investment round. Um, and that is the same way that, you know, the, the other show, The Chosen did the same thing. Uh, Wing Feather Saga uh, did the same thing, which I'm loving at the moment. Um, so it's, it's something that we are really excited to partner with, um, with our audiences uh, and, we, and with you. So if we do, head over to angel.com slash testament because that is where you can express your interest. Now, during this live stream, we're about to get into the film, I promise. We're, we're two minutes away. Um, there is a little button. If you're watching this in the Angel Studios app, there's a button under the screen, um, like on your phone or on your device, that says, what does it say? It says record story. Um, and it's here where you can uh, record a story about how this film or how uh, this, the, you know, the series that's coming, uh, you're, how much you're looking forward to it, how much you've enjoyed the film. Really, we want to hear from you. We want to hear uh, what you think. We want to hear what you're excited about. We want to hear what you're maybe uh, trepidatious about. We, we want to hear it all. So if you're on the app, press that record um, uh, story button, uh, which, uh, which will, will enable you to do that. Um, and because it, it means, it means everything to hear from you guys. Uh, you know, it, it means everything just to hear what you think, how, how like I've, I've got messages in from people of just how moments um, have really affected them, how they've kind of never thought of maybe uh, a part of a part of the, the, the biblical account in a certain way. And, you know, anything that connects people back to the story of the Bible. Um, what an amazing thing to be able to be a part of. Right. So I'd love to hear. I know the whole Testament team would love to hear from you guys about that. So do hit the record. Um, the record story button, um, because this this show currently the film is there's a lot been a lot of people who've been paying it forward, um, which is a, which is awesome. So you know if you if you, you had someone pay it forward for you when you watched it uh, previously, um, why not record a little uh, story and just you know just say thanks. I mean I'm I'm so thankful for everyone who keeps on paying it forward uh, to keep this film free for everyone to watch. Um, so after watching the film. Send us a recording, but that's enough from me. Uh, we're going to go and we're going to dive in to watch the film right now. Uh, so I do hope you enjoy it. Remember to have, head over to angel.com slash testament and express your interest. Uh, so if we do open that investment round, you will be notified as soon as we do. Enjoy the film. Um, I pray it blesses you and I will see you afterwards. God bless.
Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. And deliver us from evil. Anyone?
longer fisherman, sir. He's not here. Move on, we keep looking. Kind of gone far. Feeling that slow? Oh. Magdalene, you, re you really scared me there. I didn't hear you. <laughs> sorry, yeah, I guess being light on our feet is part of the job these days. And it's Mary, please. Oh, uh, Mary, sorry. Where is everyone? Oh, Phil, at the new safe house. We moved after a raid like that. I saw you headed in this direction, I just followed you. Waiting for the guards to leave. All right. Sorry? I guess they didn't have time to officially brief you before Paul's arrest. Yeah, I guess not. Well, not to worry, we're safe now. By God's grace. Ah. Let's go. To the next safe house? Yeah, we're just going to make a quick pit stop on the way. Pit stop? Wait, Mary, what pit stop? Well, there's a small family that I've talked to. They want to hear about him. But what about the raids? It's too dangerous out there. The most logical thing to do is to head to the next safe house. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. That's... Yeah, sure, Paul's. He's making the rounds. Listen, Doc. Ever since I met Jesus, there's been nothing but danger and trouble practically every day. It can't have been that much different, you travelling here with Paul. We're on a mission. Jesus was very clear. Tell his story to all the world, even a small gathering. So that is what I'm going to do. Are you coming? Can I take notes? So, the brothers do as Jesus says. They put their nets down in that water one last time. Then suddenly, the boat begins to tip. Ah! And the nets begin to break. They have caught so many fish, they have to call their friends over to help. And ever since that day, they decided to follow Jesus, like we do right now. The end! That's enough, Benny. I'm sorry. I know you have to go. No, that's okay. Would you like to hear a story that Jesus told us? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, let me think. Oh, now this one's a little bit confusing, so you're going to have to listen really closely. There was once a sower who sowed their seed. Now some of those seeds fell on good ground. Some fell amongst thorns. And some fell on shallow ground. While others fell along the roadside. Excuse me. Sorry to startle you, but there's been a mess with deliveries this morning, and I'm afraid that parcel isn't for you. Yes, but... I know, I know, but as long as you've not taken it inside, this doesn't have to be a problem. All right, okay, sure. Thank you. No need to thank us, just doing what we do. You have a nice day now. You too. Present, have you? Chantel? Joy? Yeah. You're all right. He's left me. Oh, he hasn't. I don't know. I don't know. Right, right. Where are you? I've gone to the pub. Okay, stay there. I'll be right over.
Excuse me. Uh, sorry to startle you. There's been a mess up with deliveries this morning, and I'm afraid to say that parcel isn't for you. Oh, no, this one's okay. It's got my name on it. Uh, sorry, miss. I've been asked to recover everything that's been delivered this morning. Well, then I'm going to have to talk to your supervisor. Uh, what's their number? I'm afraid that's not possible. Uh, he's out of the area at the moment. Well, then, have a nice day. To the single life. A mysterious present. I know. I just heard the doorbell ring, and there it was, on my doormat. So what actually is it? If not open it yet. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to bother you, but... Did you say you got a random gift? Um, yeah. Yeah, I did. Why? I'm guessing you haven't heard then. I heard what? What's this? You really have to be careful with stuff like this. Oh, my days. What? There's been a string of these gifts randomly left outside people's houses. Then they are dangerous. Let's not hold back here. OK, OK, for the sake of being. are at stake here. I'll get rid of it. You can't. We've been advised not to take them inside. Contact the authorities if you find one and they'll remove it. Do not take it inside. What can I do? You haven't opened it. No, she hasn't. And what if someone has taken it inside by mistake? What can they do? Well, this is where it gets tricky. Go home. Make sure no one sees you and hide it. Uh, put it somewhere where you forget you ever had it. Injured. Perfect. And, you have my word, I won't tell another soul. Don't tell anyone you have it. And most importantly, whatever you do, do not open it. Thank you. Thank you so much. No need to thank me. Just doing what we do. Well, please join me in thanking our special guest this morning. No need to thank me. Just doing what... Yeah. What? Now? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I know. Just, just I'll be right there. What's going on? I see what you mean about his charm. Who is this? A consultant clearing up your mess. Yesterday, you filed important paperwork, correct? Yeah. What about it? Tell me this. How did you fail to mention the key witness of the defense? No, that, 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 that's impossible. I didn't. I wouldn't if I were you. Trust me, she wanted you fired. But I think we all deserve that second chance. Don't you? Look, I may have found a way around this. There's not a moment to lose. So why don't you two shake and make up, eh?
If all goes well, I'll ensure you still make partner. Thank you. Thank you very much. No need to blame me, just doing what we do. Good book? But this... Oh, look, this is a... This is nothing. Good. Let's not lose sight of what's important. <laughs> no. No, no time for reading now. No time at all. I'm new to this. That's not to worry. You can take as long as you need. In the meantime, you can ask any questions you might have. I'd like to order more copies of the book. I got sent one randomly, and I really think more people need to read it. That's fantastic to hear. I completely agree. And just between you and me, it wasn't random. Oh, no, it was. I guess not. OK, so how many would you like? 60, 30? Uh, 100, if that's OK. Perfect. That will be with you in three days. Great. Uh, my address is... Don't worry. We know. <laughs> yeah, of course. Sorry. Uh, how much will that be then? Again, don't worry. It's paid for. Right. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I guess that's it. Um, have a great evening. You too. Take care now. to all this running and hiding. It puts me on edge. Did you enjoy the meeting, though? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> and nice of you to include that story for the, the children at the end. Well, actually, that was more for the adults in the room. Really? <laughs> yeah. What did you make of it? Well, it, it was the sowing. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the seeds? The, the sowing of the seeds. You didn't understand it? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. To be honest, we didn't understand it the first time you told it. <laughs> no, he had to explain it to us afterwards in private. So wait, Jesus would tell this story to everyone? Oh, he told loads of stories. He talked like that all the time. He'd leave half of his listeners baffled, enrage the ministers and then leave us to figure out what those stories meant. But why? Why what? But why teach with stories? Doesn't that make everything confusing? I mean, you should know, right? That's what you're doing, writing his story. No, 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 no. This is, is uh, for a friend back home. A, a report, more of a report. Words, the facts. <laughs> okay, can I give you some advice? Facts are good. And words, they can impact a moment. But a story, a really good story, that can change a life. Come on, it's just a bit further. <laughs> Way. Truth. Life. You have a warehouse? How? Generous donation from the Barnabas family.
Have you met James before? As in Jesus' brother? Yeah, briefly, when we first arrived. They're all waiting at the council room. James is getting worried. Understandably. Hi there. Zach. Luke, good to meet you. Just be there. Should I? Am I? Yes! I'm sure I can wait for all the guards got there. What about Ben's gathering? No word yet. Mary, glad to see you're okay. Any news on what happened today? I'm still trying to get a full picture, but they hit us hard. Four safe houses breached and over 20 arrested. We've lost the majority of the food banks in the city centre. Why now? I saw rolled up from Paul's antiques at the temple. No, that was days ago. The truth is, we don't know. Our contacts at the Ministerial Council aren't responding. Everything seems to be in some kind of lockdown. It just doesn't make any sense. Unless Paul's given us up. He would never do that. It would be surprising, would it? Given his history. Deborah, bring up people's James, history. James, the last time Paul was here in this very room, he almost split the church. I'm sorry, but I still don't trust the light. It wasn't him. And you are? Sorry. Hi. We've met. You travelled with Paul, came with him to the capital last week. Luke. That's right. Of course he's going to say that. Deborah, please. Well, do you know what's going on? Maybe. When I was hiding, I heard some of the temple guards talking. It sounded like they were searching for someone in particular. The fisherman. Clear. It's empty. They knew we'd come here. No sign of the fisherman, sir. He's not here. Move on. We keep looking. If he's here, we need to know. Mary, make contact with the remaining safe houses, see if they know anything, find him. Do you need to come with? You'll stay here, Luke. Yeah, I'll see you again, yeah? God willing. Take care. James, keep it up. Don't forget to eat. Deborah, you and I need to go over strategy for replenishing food supply. David, you're on lookout tonight. And Luke, welcome. Zach will show you where you're staying. Try and get a few hours of sleep. You never know what God has planned for tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing. Everyone here seems so confident. Sorry. I didn't know if anyone was up here. Not to worry. Just on lookout. Made some coffee if you want some. No, it's all right, thanks. I'll leave you to it. Join me. I insist. I thought um, David was on watch tonight. It's been a long day. We could use the break. Here you go. Couldn't sleep? Something like that. <laughs> Anything I can help with? Well, I could use a, a comfier bed. No. Just homesick, I think. Luke. I've been doing this a long time. You're sidestepping. Tell me. Look, to be honest, James, I don't know what I'm doing here. I 
came all this way with Krull for him to get himself arrested. I thought I could use this time to get to know everyone here. Learn more about Jesus. Write this thing for someone back home. It's just not that simple. Tell me, why do you think God might have brought you here? What's he trying to give you? Give me? What do you mean? It's like this. God gives to us freely. And the enemy will try and take what was given away. Our job is to understand what we have received. The sower? <laughs> I'm guessing Mary? <laughs> she loves those parables. What about the one who does understand? In the story, I mean. Well, they spread the good news of what has been given and multiply. Maybe that's why you're here. I remember Paul introduced you as a doctor. I'm guessing that's of language. Medicine. Oh, wow. I guess this wasn't quite the life you were expecting then. No. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> to be honest, travelling with Paul, I really do miss a good bed. Yeah. <laughs> I miss my house. My job. My... To be honest, there's quite a few things I do miss. What about you? Do you ever regret not going a different way? Making some money, buying a place in one of those? Yeah, sometimes. Really? Who wouldn't? But what good is it for someone to gain the world and yet forfeit their very self? Sorry, I don't quite... When you look out there, what do you see? Um, tall buildings, <laughs> lights, the glamour, I guess. Likewise, but closer. Would you imagine, I don't know, between the buildings? People. Staying in bed or getting ready for work. Walking in the streets. Exactly. Always surrounded by the promise of wealth. The glitz and the glamour. Working every day to either provide or strive for a better life. Thinking wealth is the answer. There was one young woman who thought the very same. Some people, they live on the ground, but their heads are in the clothes. What's he gonna do? You gonna go home and get change? I can't. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Uh, Bill, when did this happen? Oh, weekend. I'm so sorry. It's not over yet, please. Um, the, the last interview didn't go well. Yeah, or the one before that. Well, I don't know what it is with me and interviews. They just don't seem to like me. Well, redundancy's tough. OK, don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, I can't help you. Family trauma and all of that. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, look. Fingers crossed for your interview tomorrow. <laughs> OK, it's a good one. I hope they like you. Uh, Lacey, um... I want you to... I'd love to. Sorry? What? I, uh, wanted to give you this. 
I know your birthday's coming up, and um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's just something we do at the office, you know, no big deal. So, um, I'll open it on my birthday. Um, I'll see you next week. Good day. How's Aisha? Well, she's tired. Mm -hmm. She's moody. <laughs> and she's obsessed with peanut butter. Hey, Mrs. Jackson. Bill, give me the number seven. Uh, and for you, Lacey? Uh, two, please. So the owners have decided to sell this place. The whole building. Hmm. And we can't afford to buy it from them, so... I don't know what's going to happen with the business. I don't know why the new owners won't just let you run it as it is. Well, that's what we're hoping. Yeah. But the way things are around here... They are driving the community out. You know they're making Tim's Butchers a coffee shop? Prior Street is becoming offices. Oh, maybe one of them will give me a job. Sorry. <laughs> don't you worry, I'm going to sort it all out. The amount of money you spend on your lucky dips, Mrs. Jackson, over the years. Don't you doubt me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change the world. Yeah. See. Any plans for your birthday? No. I have to do something. Do you want anything? Just some of the millions. <laughs> Cheeky from day one, this girl. We all keep the change. <laughs> Mrs. Jackson? Yes, dear. You dropped this. On the house. No, no, but no. No arguments. Thank you. You got this, Lacey. Miss Kazim? Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Today might be a lucky day. Mum, um, Mrs. Jackson, I can't. Honestly. Hush. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can put that away in the fridge. <laughs> I'll get it. Hey. Hey, everyone, this is David. Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. Uh, for you. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. I'm really glad you came. Oh, Lacey, I'm a boyfriend. Come on, Lacey. Come on, sit down. Lacey's got a boyfriend. Half time is lottery time. Okay. Thanks. So. So. I actually have been. I, I, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go out sometime. You know, like a um, like a like a birthday meal or something. Yeah, it's just something we do at the office. No big deal. 
I'd love that actually. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Pretty good family. Despite all the trauma. Lacey, hi, me again. <laughs> Look, I keep missing you when I call. I just want to check in, really, on you. Been a while. Look, I, I, I know you don't need your job seekers allowance anymore, but um, I know things are different now, okay? I just hope not too different. Give me a call back. We've made appropriate investments and um, mutual funds. Watch it. Continue. Uh, as I was saying, Ms. Kazim, we've invested into mutual funds, stocks, ETFs. Uh, there's plenty of scope for more. What about more property? Sorry, I was expecting someone else. <laughs> I did think you let me in quite quickly. You look nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to a gala, raising money for children in India. Oh, sorry for not returning your calls. How did you find where I live? <laughs> this house was all over the news. And, uh, and I was in the area, so I thought, you know, sorry, it seems a bit weird now. No, it's, it's fine, it's just, I have to go to sleep. Of course. Look, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, okay? Um, look, th this probably seems a bit random, and you know, there's no easy way to go about it, but we were friends. I have a boyfriend. Right, well, that's good. He's really quite impressive. He's a CEO. He's got his life together. He's a really good fit for me. Sorry, I just thought you'd be over what we... what you thought we had. I'm not here to ask you out on a date, Lacey. Oh, good. I'm here for Bill and Aisha. And their kids. Look, uh, I hope you don't mind if I clean while we catch up, because um, the new owners are coming in today and we've been cleaning through the night. Bill, I'm the owner. I bought the place. I own the building. Oh, oh my! Oh my goodness! Thank you, Lizzie! No! Bill, I'm not being clear. I'm turning this place into flats. I don't understand. Okay. He's been meeting me at the job seeker's office. 
they're really struggling and he's hurt. I tried to give him money. Don't think that I'm not grateful for all of your help. I really am. And I'm going to pay you back. This should cover all the, all the chicken and maybe get the kids whatever game they're playing these days. You took their home and their income, they see. Like, I, I think it would really help, you know, if you just spoke to them and explained. I'll write a check and you can give it to them. No! They're hurt, Lacey. It's nothing personal. Nothing personal. Lacey, I... This community... We looked after you. With everything. With your job. With your mom and dad. I don't want to talk about them. If you don't mind, we'll have to do this another time. You're talking to me about helping others. This event is going to raise so much money for children in Africa. You mean India? Yes, David. Bye. Have you spoke to anyone from your birthday since you won the lottery? Why? Look, I know you have money now, okay? But when I was at that party, that flat was so full of life and love. Those people love you, Lacey. Those people are gonna die poor just like my mum and dad. I never wanted to be like them. I never asked to be like them. Every day it was just the same thing. Bus stop, chicken shop, I can't. I got out. Oh, Lacey. I got out. You were richer before. Did you know her? Who? The woman. Oh, uh, no, no, no. That was, that was just a story Jesus told a group of ministers who kept pestering him about money. He told them where their treasure was, their hearts were also. Ouch. Yeah. I don't think they were too happy about it. Did Jesus like telling stories? As a kid, I mean. Not particularly more than anyone else, as far as I can remember. Our mum would tell us stories of King David and Noah. And he'd just listen and smile like the rest of us. Code 1247. Come on. What, what's happened? There's been a perimeter breach. We need to leave now. You look heading down now.
Machado. Luke, come on. I need Machado. Wait, there's no time. I can't leave it. Come on, come on, we've got to go. Sorry. You can be ridiculous sometimes. False alarm, thank God. It's two of our own. Luke, meet Susanna, one of Jesus' earliest followers. Nice to meet you, Luke. I see you've already met the famous Simon Zealotes. One of the twelve. So that's the game restless and after the race today. I'm not sure how much longer they'll hold off. They were raided too. The Temple Guard don't distinguish them from followers of the way. But we are nothing alive. They call themselves freedom fighters, but they're more like armed nationalists. Extremists. We don't have any uh, yeah, I know who they are. I just don't get If they retaliate, we need to keep the city safe. There's another meeting tomorrow night. They are spooked, but we came here in hope of some answers. So what happened today? This young man overheard the temple guard say they'd spotted the fishermen in the city. Do we know if they caught him? Sent Mary out to investigate, but nothing yet. No news is good news. Exactly. Might not have actually been him for all we know. It was him. How are you so sure? He was due to meet Barnabas today in the capital. Barnabas? Wait, he's back? Yeah. Arrived with his companion four days ago. He's not well. A high fever and some injuries that need looking at. They've been staying at my house. We need to get back there and explain to them what's happened here. Look, sorry, short visit, but God willing. I'll come with you. Uh, Luke? I'm a doctor. Maybe I can help Barnabas see what's wrong? Unless you have any objections. Simon, Susanna? The more the merrier. Let's settle. Look at that. He's already packed. So this is how you manage to avoid being seen. Old sewer system. Runs under the entire city. There aren't many that know about them. And those that do either don't know their way around or are far too self-respecting to wade through uh, whatever it is you imagine you just waded through. <laughs> didn't want to think about that. Do you mind if I ask? The Zealots, what is it they want? Well, they'd say freedom, but... They want their nation's independence back, whatever the cost. Assassinations, riots, you name it. So why do you go to their meetings? Well, someone has to reach them. And they listen to what you have to say? They listen to Simon. How come? 
I used to be one back in the day. Is that it? Yeah. You were an extremist when he followed Jesus? No. <laughs> no. I was when he called me, but after I followed him, it just wasn't part of me anymore. I still don't understand why you'd go back to them. To tell them about Jesus. But the things they do, they're relentless, unfeeling. Well, and so was I till I saw the bigger picture. But if we can get through to them, if, if they can know him like I know him, then not only will a lot of other lives be saved, but theirs will be too. <laughs> so you think everyone will change? I think anyone can. None of us are the same since following the way. And through him we do the impossible. We love those different to us as we love ourselves. We see those whose ideals and notions are a world away. And we love them as if we were their neighbor. A neighbor? What does that mean? It means sometimes it hurts to love the way Jesus asks us to. I don't understand. Susanna, do me a favor. Tell him that story that Jesus told the lawyer. What, now? Yeah. It might distract us from the smell. Shall I record this? I'm gonna record this. There was once a man on a certain journey. Hi, James. You coming tonight? Not here. Whatever. See you at midnight. Chick, you know. Hey, check it out. Hey, white power. You lost. I don't think you got that. Turn around. Hey, what do you think he's playing at? Oh, I get it. I don't think he understands us. Is that right? My accent too hard for you, blood. Tay, I think you're in this way, you know. Mmm. Silly me. I'll tell you what. If you ask nasty man, I might let him chew. Well, let me through. Pretty sure he said nicely, mate. You people, you don't want to mess with me. I'm going to repeat that, bro. Move! What? Shut up, bro!
Is that? That's James. James! Shut up! Don't attract any attention, not yet. Yeah, I know, but it's James and he's hurt. I've got another way. And what, leave him? You want to end up like him? Be my guest. Come on! Who did this to you? You're okay, just uh, step your straight eyes. Stay awake. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the ambulance, alright? No, no, please. Okay. Okay, no police. Let's uh, let's try and get you sitting up, eh? I think it I think it I'm sorry. People like you. My name is Jabari. What's your name? If I don't, it will get infected. This will stay. <laughs> you need help. No, please. I know. I know. I have a friend who is a doctor. She can help. I'm not going anywhere. If you don't get help, you will die. I'll drive you. Someone is very hot and I'm bringing them to you now. I think we're ridiculous. You can't just... I'm not joking. Please, Claire. I'll get the spare room ready. Thank you. You're going to be okay. Just hang in there. I know, I know. But please, uh, just if there's anything you need, just let me know. Thank you. Sorry. Um, can I see you before I go? It's a break. Claire will be looking after you over the next few days. I'll be back tomorrow. James. My 
name's James. Good to meet you, James. Thank you. So who do you think is the man's neighbor? The one who helped him. And so we do the same. No matter what we may think of the other. That's... hard. Yeah. It is. Come on. A long way to go. I need to hide. I don't know you. This is Luke. He's a doctor. He's here to help. I've heard that before. Calm down. There's a companion of Paul's. Luke, meet John. You know Paul? Yeah. I came to the city with him. You? I travelled with him too for a little while. Well, that practically makes us brothers in arms. Nice to meet you, John. Mark. Most people call me John Mark. <clears throat> we need to see Barnabas. Alone. What are you writing? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, notes. <laughs> Medical? Oh, no. Um, these are... stories. What, like children's stories? Kind of, I guess. Yeah, they're all part of a bigger narrative. Um, these are the, well, some of the stories Jesus told. To teach, explain, I don't know. But he told them, so I'm writing them. So you're a writer as well? Oh, no. I mean, <laughs> this is meant to be more of a... Can I read it? Luke, Susanna and I need to head off, so... Can you go and look at Barnabas? He's, uh... He's not well. Don't let his happy go and lucky attitude fool you. Of course. And best of luck with your meeting tonight. As God wills. As God wills. Famous Dr. Luke. Well, I wouldn't say that, but it's an honor to finally meet you, Barnabas. I've heard so much about you. Well, not everything, I hope. Although knowing Paul, it probably would be. All good things, I assure you. Oh, well then, he left out all the fun bits. Sorry. Not at all. Nothing to be sorry about. Okay? So, any ideas why we're not feeling 100%? Well, on our last mission stop, things didn't go quite to plan. I thought I was over it. But my foot hasn't quite healed yet, and things have gotten worse. Do you mind if I take a look?
Yeah, it's definitely your foot. Leaving it this long has left you with an infection. Good thing is, it's treatable. But I am going to have to cut into it and drain it. Whatever we need to do, Doc, I'm in. Good. Because I don't have any anaesthetic and I'm going to need a sharp kitchen knife. Perfect. Thank you. You staying? No, I'll just be outside if you need me there. Some people just aren't cut out for the operating room. <laughs> Quite. God has made him for something entirely different and truly special. He's why we're here. How do you mean? We came back to the capital to meet with Peter. He wants to take John Mark under his wing. Wait, Peter? As in... Simon Peter, one of the twelve, yes. He's the fisherman? Well, he was a fisherman, yes. Oh, you mean that code name of sorts? <laughs> yes, that's him. The ministers thought it clever to try and hide who they were talking about. But, well, we thought it rather obvious. Right, let's get this over with, shall we, Doc? Are you ready? Of course, yes. Sorry, I'm ready. So, this is probably going to hurt a fair bit. Best thing to do is keep yourself distracted. Keep talking, all right? Oh, about, about what? Uh, I don't know. Um, know any of the stories that Jesus told? Yes, yes. Great. Pick one of those and go with it. <laughs> uh, quickly. OK, right, good. Yes. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who found a treasure hidden in a field. Well, how much does he want for it? It's not as simple as that. It wasn't a number. What do you mean? He said how much I think it's worth. Not a penny more, not a penny less. What did you tell him? Ah! Keep going. You've got this, okay? You might need to stretch the story out a bit. We've got a long way to go. Sister, what do you think, Jay? Stop being silly, it's for me. Oh, all right then. Come on, you. Let's get you to school. Maybe I'm not sure you've ever been able to surprise me yet. There's no way you could have known about this place. <laughs> okay, you got me. You surprised me today. Well done. For surprise number two. Mm. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that, were you? I too. It's beautiful. I just want to say thank you. You made me a better person. You're my best friend. And you've managed those two annoying little rascals. <laughs> Love you. Never stop surprising me, Matthew. To new adventures.
Hello there, how are you? Oh, can't complain. And yet we do. Yeah, very true. So what can I do for you today? Bit of a weird question. Do you know who owns the field over there? Yes, I do. Me. Pretty much everything you can see around here belongs to me. Including this pretty little tractor, as I'm sure you'll agree. Yeah, it's a very attractive tractor. Sorry, about the field. It's for sale. I'm sorry? The field and everything in it is for sale. That's what you wanted to hear, wasn't it? Yes, it is. Have you had much interest in it already? Well, I'd say there was much interest from you, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> How would you think of selling it for? Tell you what. Why don't you pay me what you think it's worth? And if I agree, then it's yours. What do I think it's worth? And not a penny more, and not a penny less. We need to talk. What did you tell him? Nothing yet. We need to be together on this. Can I see it? We'll go tomorrow. what he said. Then give it to him. What? Everything. Where are we going? We're buying a field a few miles from here. A field? We're not even going to have a house. No, not at first. But eventually we'll build. And your granddad's lending us his caravan until we're on our feet again. Why? What do you mean, why, Jamie? Like, why? Did you do something stupid? No, 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 no it's nothing like that. We found something there. Something that makes this all worthwhile. What? It's hard to explain. Oh, don't treat me like a kid. We're not treating you like a kid. We're trying to discuss this as a family. You're going to have to trust us on this. No, one. I don't. Beautiful. How much do you want for it? What I need is your signature just here to complete the sale. Sure. Completely finished. What you see is what you do. When you start, why are we leaving? I promise you what comes next is going to be more than what you can ever imagine. I didn't want more. How's the degree? Till we saw it. Let's just look up. Come on.
you'd like to make you an offer? Ooh, certainly. Sold. <laughs> and you'll be one in the deeds, I assume. Thank you. Well, I never told you my name. Oh, I always make it a priority to know the names of those I'm doing business with. And those I'm not. By the way, we found some. <laughs> I know exactly what's in my fields. Who do you think put it there for you? Why did you want so much for it? Sorry? Why did you ask for so much? It cost us everything. My dear child, I only asked what they thought it was worth. And then I'd decide if it was enough or if it was too much. As it happens, it was exactly right. And for what? A, f a field? I think you should go and have a look. And if you're not happy, just let me know. Okay. What can I do for you, young sir? It wasn't everything. Now it is. Now it is. these three times a day for the next couple of weeks. You'll be right as rain. Oh good. All done then. All done? You'll need to keep off that foot for a while. It's not exactly going to be a comfy walk. That story, it's like yours isn't it? How so? Well, from what I've heard, you gave everything you had away to the church when it first began. Everything. Even when it was hardly more than a few thousand people, everyone thought we were going mad. You gave it all away for... The kingdom. Right. Paul didn't spend much time talking about the kingdom, did he? Don't let it fool you. It's only because he's so busy growing it. I made her some food. I told you you were special. <laughs> Our Father, who is in heaven, Amen. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your I'm will so be done scared. on earth as it is in heaven. I can't begin to understand it. Thanks, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil.
You okay? Get your things. What? There isn't much time. They're coming. Who is? The temple guard. The zealots were found last night and they've taken Susanna. They'll be here next. Now get your things. But what about Simon and the others? Get your things, Mark! At the back of the garden, there's a door onto the street. Keep moving and keep him safe. What about you? Speed is not on my side. The least I can do is buy you some time. Mark, let's go! Run and find Peter. Peter? How? I don't... I, I'm not... I don't know how to... He will guide you. Mark? No. God. But you have to listen. Listen for his voice. Order of Prime Minister and Alliance, final warning, open the door! This one, this one! for his voice, not in the wind, not in the quakes, nor the fire. I don't know. We just need to wait. Follow me. Thank you. Did Barnabas send you? No. What? Who are you? How do you know where we'd be? Same way you knew to wait where you were meant to. Who you? Mark. So good to see you, son. You must be Luke. Mary said to expect you. She found you. I certainly did. But stubborn as always, he refused to leave the city until he got what he came for. Where were you? We waited for you for four days and you never came. And now we've left Barnabas. I'm sorry, Mark. I tried to get to both of you, but there were so many guards, more than usual. And I was spotted. I am sorry. Why was security so tight? Prime Minister Ananias was on the move, heading north to Governor Felix to speak against Paul. Paul? You know where he is? He's been kept under guard, now it's compound. Has he been sentenced? I don't know. But, knowing Paul, he's probably making the most of it and preaching to anyone who will hear him. And those that won't? I have no doubt. So what's the plan? For now we rest up. Wait until tomorrow for the search parties to clear. Then we get out of the capital. We head west to the shores. 
I have some friends in a small port. We'll get a boat from there. Okay, you. Come on, let me take a look. No, no arguing. Come on, let me see. You are. Like I said, I was spotted. Well, they've stood out. I mean, you're all right, but less of that running. Yeah? Some nice stitch work there. Yeah, I'm used to patching up the boys. You a doctor, Luke? Yeah. Yeah, I am. He's also a writer. Are you now? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> yes, he is. No, I'm not. I'm not the creative type. You're always right whenever I see you. OK, yeah, but they're just reports. Research, it's, it's nothing more than that. Are you good? I... Are you good? It's just a hobby. And yet the Holy Spirit tells me otherwise. No! I, I'm just a doctor. No one is just anything. Luke, I might be known now as a preacher, leader, I guess. But I'm still a pretty good fisherman. God entrusts us with gifts and talent, whether it be medicine, writing, teaching, fishing, whatever it is. But they are not random. They are given intentionally with a purpose and it is our duty to nourish them and then give back to him. Hiding one away would be like lighting up a lamp and then covering it up. Have you ever heard the story of the great maestro and three talented students? Played with dedication, control, and heart, Christopher. Nailed it, Chris. Well, I'll just do as Maestro says. Play, play every day. <laughs> My very own parrots. Becky, your resilience knows no bounds. You mapped it out with great calculation. Now let the map go and let your hands take you on the journey. Malcolm, you have the heart of an artist. Passionate, intense, chaotic. You must tune your instrument to allow the music to shine through. I regret to inform you that this is my final lesson. Don't look so shocked. This day has been coming for a long time. So, my final lesson to you, my most devoted students, is this. Each one of you has been given a great gift. Talents of different degrees and of varying amounts. They should not be withheld, contained, set aside for a rainy day, but they should be used. Invested, spent. Hold out your hands. Oh, there is an immeasurable gift in each of your hands to be used not only for your own betterment, but for the betterment of others. It is your duty. Enough from me. I have shared all I have with you. And one day, I expect to see what you've done with it. Now go forth and share what you have with the world. 
The only thing we're going to be sharing are these coffees. You don't think Maestro's right, Malcolm, about bettering the world? I don't know. Maestro always speaks in riddles so that we go back next week for answers. But all we ever get is more riddles. Well, there is no next week. Not anymore. More time to play, play, every day. <laughs> Come on. You don't really stick to that, do I you? I do. Yeah. I still struggle to keep up. But you guys have an innate ability. You both have. They can't take that away. Somebody else could practice their finger exercises as much as they like, but they will never have the raw talent that you have and I have. Don't get me wrong, I have learned a lot from Maestro, a lot, but am I going to play for any old gig to share my talents? No! Am I going to practice for my Philharmonic audition? Yeah, because I know my worth and I'm not going to share for anything less. Wait, 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 you have an audition at the Philharmonic? Yes, I do. Malcolm, congratulations! That's incredible, well done! Thank you. Hello, Mr. Novak. Yeah, it's, it's Chris from Double Clef magazine. We spoke yesterday. Um, uh, yeah, I was wondering if you gave any thought to that fantastic film. Hi, can I get you a coffee? I'm on a call. Um, yeah, yes, no, I'm fine, uh, Mr. Novak. Um, Look, I'm so sorry, but our system seems to have crashed again. Yeah, we'll, we'll call you back. <clears throat> hey, sorry, I think I uh, came across a bit rude just then. It's, um, it was nice of you to offer. Would you like a coffee or anything? Hello, Mr. Holloway. Yes, this is Ruth calling from Double Clef magazine. Chris, we'll, uh, we'll see you now. <clears throat> Sorry to hear that, Chris. They don't know what they're missing. Yeah, uh, well. Nobody says it's going to be easy. I mean, if the maestro told us anything, who was that? Yeah. Chris? Yeah? This may sound crazy, but hear me out, okay? Okay. Maestro told us to share our talents, right? Yeah. Well, what if we worked on something together? Not just for us, but something that could end up making a difference to people. Well, it's a great idea. For the betterment of others. Exactly. I... I just don't think that now is the right time. I mean, we're both focusing on big auditions and I don't want us to lose focus. You understand, right? Yeah. You're right. But one day, yeah? Of course. <laughs> Well, keep going. You're a great pianist, it'll happen. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> All you've got to do is play. Play. Malcolm. Chris! <laughs> How are things? Things are good, mate. You? Yeah, no, 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 can't complain. Can't complain. Uh, how was that audition uh, for the Philharmonic? Oh, yeah, uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't work out. Uh. <laughs> Seems like a million years ago. <laughs> but you're still playing? Nope. I'm an all or nothing kind of guy. I work in the city now and. Things are going very well, if I don't say so myself. Well, that's a shame. What is? 
But you don't play? I don't think so. Anyway, um... I gotta go? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you, Martin. So. Chris? Ruth! <laughs> Hi. Uh, these are for you. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. So, what do you do? Not for money. Well, same as you. We work together. No, I mean, what do you do? None of us are there for the love of selling magazines. Mm. Unless you are. <laughs> no. <laughs> for example, I am an Oscar Golden Globe BAFTA award winning actress in waiting. Are you really? Well, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Thank you. You? I'm a pianist. Wow. No, is that you acting? Or no. <laughs> I actually have a lot of respect for musicians, especially pianists. Oh. You must work really hard. Yeah, I try to. Not so much you. Oh. Oh. A little reward at the moment. <laughs> we must persevere. Mm. To perseverance. And talent. Mm, and talent. Play for me then. Maestro. <laughs> no, I'm no maestro. Come on. Play. teacher. She still is. She's not gone yet. I just hope we can live up to what she wants us to be. Chris. Hmm. I've been thinking a lot about that idea I had. Do you remember? Working together. For the betterment of others. <laughs> I know it sounded crazy, but I really think it could work. I'm going to produce an album. All of Maestro's favourites, recorded by stars, peers, students. Not for profit. All proceeds to tackling cancer. To help make a real difference. That's exactly the sort of thing Maestro would want us to do. Chance for everyone to share their talents. I've spoken to Malcolm, he's keen. Malcolm's playing again. Yeah, he is. Are you in? Me? Yeah. One day, remember? I don't do that anymore. What? I've been out for some time. I wouldn't be able to commit. 
sorry, Becky. Don't be sorry. It's just a shame. Hi, honey. Just wondering what time you'll be back tonight. It's been a few late nights in a row. Becky and Malcolm came round to see you today. I told them you were on a work trip. I really want you to play, Chris. Layla and I are going to Mum's for the weekend. I'm guessing Chris! they won't be joining Layla us. Layla just took her first steps. It was adorable. It's like you blame me it so for the fact that you get home. Home. I so wish you'd been but here. But I never though. asked you for that. I want it was um, to sit you know, at home. I don't understand why. Layla's never even heard you play. Uh, sorry I'm late at home. <laughs> don't worry about waiting up for me. I'll, I'll sort out my own food. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I've got to go. Good for you guys. lesson to you, my most devoted students, is this. Each one of you has been given a great gift. Talents of different degrees and of varying amounts. They should not be withheld, contained, set aside for a rainy day, but they should be used. Invested. Spent. Hold out your hands. Oh, there is an immeasurable gift in each of your hands to be used not only for your own betterment, but for the betterment of others. It is your duty. Enough from me. I have shared all I have with you. And one day, I expect to see what you've done with it. Now go forth and share what you have with the world. Wait. Keep. 
Here I am. You win. I've been so scared. And I, I won't pretend that I understand why you seem to be pursuing me, but... Here I am. I don't know what this means. But... I do know I'm not as afraid anymore. You're not a part of my story. Instead... I get to be a part of yours. Your incredible, life-changing story. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. You're right there, Peter. Can you give us a moment? In our hands, our immeasurable gift. My brother and I used to cast our nets out on shores like this. We'd catch the best fish the sea had to offer. We had a real gift. And that is when I met Jesus. And when he called me, he told me I would become fisher of men and to drop my net. For three years we followed him and saw the impossible bend to his every word. So when he asked me to spread his message, to preach to all creation, I, I gave it everything I had. And I saw wonders and miracles. And the whole world turned upside down. But when the spirit whispered John Mark's name in my ear, Everything changed. I knew when my attention was needed to help Mark write it down. The good news of Jesus for the whole world to read. And that something happened I didn't expect. A few days ago, Mary came to me and told me that Matthew was also writing an account. Matthew? And now I meet you and find that you're doing the very same. Do you know what that tells me? Well, he's up to something.
Our nets, look. Our nets will be his story. Ready to go now? We should get going while the coast is clear. Luke, you coming? No, I'm not. What? I'm heading north to Herod's compound, try to find Paul. I think that's where the spirit wants me. You going on your own? Plus, I have a story to put together. So this is it? For now. Well, you and Paul, you keep out of trouble. Yeah? Stay safe. Try our best. God bless, Dark. I'll cut you up. I wanted to give you this. My way of saying thanks for getting me here. What are they? Notes of my own that I've written over the years. Bits I've heard from Peter and the others. I thought you might find it useful. Wait, you do know why Peter called you, right? Yeah. The Spirit told me in Barnabas a couple of weeks ago. So you won't be needing these? I've got copies. Mary's going to give one to Matthew. And besides, I reckon Peter will remember all we need. Thanks. You're a great writer, Luke. I, I read some of it when you weren't looking. You've got a gift. You're going to keep some of the short stories in? Yeah. I think so. Include as much as possible. Long, detailed. How about you? How are you going to write yours? Well, it's Peter, so I'm guessing short and snappy. Yeah. Great story, either way. Mm. I'll see you around. Amen. Many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us. Just as they were handed down to us by those who, from the first, were eyewitnesses and servants of the word. With this in mind, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I too decided to write an orderly account for you most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the certainty of the things you have been taught. This is the account of Jesus the Christ. This is his story. This his testament thank you for watching remember and there we have it testament the parables retold um guys i really hope that blessed you in some way uh making it was a, a, a true honor i loved every moment working with this incredible crew this beautifully talented cast as well um it was a real blessing for me uh, when we made it and i i pray it is a blessing for you too uh, now is the perfect time, if, uh, if you haven't already, to, if you're watching in the Angel Studios app, there's a button that says record story. Um, and, and I want you to press that and I want you to just share, share a little bit about how this film made you feel, what, what really um, stood out to you or what moment really got you thinking. Um, or, or even just to say uh, thank you to the person who paid it forward for you um, when watching it before. 
uh, it's just a great way to keep this community going, keep this community active, uh, and, and really spread the word. Um, we actually got sent a video in by, uh, from Barb, uh, who's in Canada, and this is what she had to say about the movie. Hi, everybody. It's Barb um, from Canada. And uh, I just want to thank everybody who uh, did their part in uh, bringing the chosen to us. It just brings Jesus alive to me. Um, it's like Jesus with skin on, and I know that he would have had a sense of humor like that. And so it's just been wonderful. Um, and I just wanted to also mention that um, if you want something to do while you're waiting for season four to come out, you might want to watch Testament. I just watched it this morning, the Testament, and uh, it was so good. It was, uh, man, it brought the parables. Uh, I really understand them more now than I did before. Um, and it's it's about Acts, the book of Acts, and uh, Paul and Luke and it was just so well done and I really enjoyed it. So I, I, I'd like others to watch it too. Uh, and you'll have time before season four comes out. So um, if you have a chance, give it a go. And thank you very much to everybody. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bob, for sending that video in. It's, it's a real encouragement. So thank you so much. Uh, and guys, all of this, all of this is made possible by all the people who are paying it forward. Uh, this, this film, I think, on the app now has had over 700,000 views, which is just... It's, it's incredible, and but th those views are because you have paid it forward for others. Um, so there, there should also be a button that you can pay it forward um, to people. There's some perks that you can get, but more than that, it, it keeps the show free. It keeps the show free for people to watch all around the world, um, which I just think is amazing, and I, and I love the fact that this is free. Um, and then second, as well, it actually pays forwards towards future seasons. So when we're prepping for season one and hopefully season two and then hopefully season three and four and five, um, the pay it forward money actually goes towards those, um, those seasons. So please do pay it forward if you can. Um, and if you are not based in the US and you wanted to invest in uh, like a previous live stream, um, paying it forward is a great alternative. Uh, so you can do that. Uh, and we're very, very thankful. So thank you to everyone who, who, does, um, who does pay it forward. And if you're not able, that's fine. I just want to thank you for watching. And again, I just really do pray it blesses you. Guys, that's all from me. Um, I hope you've had a, a wonderful night. Uh, I'm not going to take up any of, more of your time, but um, I will see you again soon on a live stream, I am sure. Uh, but a reminder, again, to head over to angel.com slash testament where you can express your interest so that if we do open up an investment round, uh, you'll be notified as soon as we do. Thank you guys so much. God bless, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.